Hello, and welcome. I'm Daniel Chef for Arirang News. Let's start with our first story. Our focus is on North Korea. As we did yesterday, North Korea appears to be advancing its ballistic missile capabilities. It test fired a submarine launched ballistic missile on Saturday and sent three anti ship cruise missiles into the East Sea. Our Kim Hyun bin shares what experts are saying about how the communist regime is moving closer to perfecting the weaponry and what kind of threat it will pose to Seoul and Washington. In recent years, North Korea has proven its intercontinental ballistic missile capabilities through numerous test firings, and experts believe the missiles could even reach the west coast of the United States. On top of that, Pyongyang is coming close to miniaturizing a nuclear warhead that could be mounted on top of a ballistic missile. Now, North Korea has taken the threat to a whole new level by developing ballistic missiles that can be fired from submarines. If that becomes a reality, the communist regime could enter U.S. waters covertly and target key military facilities on the U.S. mainland. Unlike intercontinental ballistic missiles, submarine launch ballistic missiles are much more difficult to detect. Submarines are not detected on radar and can only be detected via sound waves underwater, so our current missile defense system will not be able to detect. On Saturday, North Korea claimed that it has successfully carried out an underwater test fire of a submarine launch ballistic missile. If confirmed, it will be the country's first test fire of a ballistic missile from a submarine. Experts believe it's only a matter of time before the North perfects the technology. Later in the day, the South reported Pyongyang had fired three anti-ship cruise missiles into the sea off its east coast. After the test firings, the U.S. said launches using ballistic missile technology are a clear violation of multiple U.N. Security Council resolutions, and warned that the North submarine launched ballistic missiles could represent a fresh threat to the security of the Korean Peninsula. Kim Abin, Arirang News.